A causal function is a function that is zero for negative values of the independent variable. Now in this example, the independent variable is t. So this function called u of t is zero for values of t less than zero. Um, now this particular causal function is probably the simplest type you could think of. It's also known as the unit step function. It's equal to 1 for values of t that are greater than or equal to 0. So here's the graph, which is a horizontal line at 1. So when t is 0, the value of the function is 1. So really we could put a, a circle around here so that we can see that 0 is excluded from this horizontal line. Now sometimes you might see this function referred to as h of t. Here is another example of a causal function. It's the function u of t multiplied by sine of t. If we just looked at sine of t, of course, it is defined for negative values of t, look like this. But because we're multiplying it by the unit step function, the part of the graph for negative t is actually zero because we're multiplying the sine of t by zero. So I'll show the unit step function in red here. So if we multiply the unit step function for negative t by sine of t, we'll get zero. We're multiplying zero by sine of t here. But over here, we're just multiplying one by sine of t. So we're just getting the graph of sine of t for positive t. So we end up with this graph here.